Hey everyone, I'm Francis Lucero, your new host of Attitude. I'm excited because with me is Jenny Ricchetti, Project Runway Season 15 designer. I mean, I figured, my first show, so let's start off with a bang. We're going to talk about a couple of things today. We're going to talk about her experience on the show and what she's up to now. Also, I'm going to grab her thoughts on the Top Gun 2 movie that's about to come out, as well as a couple of things going on in the Bay Area. Now, next to me, Jenny Ricchetti. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So this excited. is great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The question that you've been asked a lot. Yes. What was your experience like on Project Runway? Yeah. So this is the question I get asked the most and the hardest answer, I think, that, you know, to compile in myself yeah. um, because there's not one direct you know, um, word to describe my whole entire experience. Yeah. Um, but I can say that it put me through the ringer. It was stressful. It was um, basically felt like every college night you had a project due the next morning. And you, it was like basically, Hated those. yeah, it was all nighters <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah. All nighters every day. Um, you know, lack of food. And when you're a creative person and you're in that environment, sometimes it makes you work harder and yeah. better. Um, and sometimes, you know, you can really just like get depleted very quickly. But I think for me, my overall experience, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, Good. It was uplifting. It was a new form of creativity. I had never really been under that pressure before. I had always yeah. just been designing for myself. Yeah. Um, or as an intern through someone else. And I've made so many great connections. Um, the whole cast, I'm very grateful that everyone kind of got along. There was not really <laughs> All the too drama. much drama. <laughs> yeah, as everyone says, Project Runway, they're like, I don't watch it anymore because it's not about design. Like, get your button off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it was it was good. It was good. And cool. I really enjoyed meeting um, Tim Gunn. He's my favorite aspect of the entire oh production. I would literally pass out if I saw him. Yeah, I'm I like... literally almost did. Yeah. <laughs> I would be like... <laughs> oh, I have like a nervous and flat, like my I have a very nervous laugh and when I first saw him I just could not stop laughing and which I have heard so when yeah. I when I googled you when I was starting to research you one of my coworkers was like google her laugh and I literally you don't did. even need to google it you oh, just I type know. in my name and it pops up on the search engine <laughs> I was like oh my god her laugh in my lab in one studio <laughs> yeah it's about to get dangerous it's about to get real dangerous um <laughs> Well, okay, so then after all of that, how has that experience shaped you now as a, as a designer and as a businesswoman? I would say, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that that experience has shaped me further as a designer. Going into it, I really knew, you know, what my aesthetic was and who I was as a designer. But I think it branched my ideals of um, how I see the design world, not just in my bubble here in San yeah. Francisco. Um, but it really evolved into how the fashion world works in New York and LA and even, you know, outside of the United States. And it just, it branched out. And I think I've evolved more in terms of who I know and how to get there yeah. now. So I've, I think it's changed my experience in terms of like information on how I can, you know, further unfold this journey that I'm, that I'm on. That's so exciting. Yeah. So it's been really cool. All right, you guys, uh, we're going to take a short break. Do not hit pause because then when we return, we have so much more going on in the show. Would you like to win a complete makeover? In order to participate, you must like Salon DNA San Francisco along with Attitude Show, both pages on Facebook and Share, and follow us on Instagram. So make sure to tell all your friends and family, and I will see the lucky winner soon at Salon DNA. Welcome back to Attitude. Before I get back to Jenny, let's see what's going on in the Bay Area. We have Priscilla. Queen of the Desert now playing at the Eureka Theater in San Francisco and runs through July 1st. For more info, go to therhino.org. The Comedy Central Clusterfest is coming June 2nd to 4th in San Francisco. Comedians Jerry Seinfeld, Kevin Hart, and Sarah Silverman and so many more 
are going to be there cracking jokes, making us meat slap, and just laugh our heads off. Get more info at clusterfest.com. I'm definitely going to check that out. I mean, okay, so you don't really find me at comedy shows too often because... Um, my laugh ends up turning into a main portion of the entire, of show. The entire show. So <laughs> if you are trying to get all the eyes on you, take me to a fucking comedy show. I'll have my own money box. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. actually, <laughs> right. the main attraction here. <laughs> exactly. At least if it's a smaller comedy show, I can do like the big stuff because it's hard to narrow someone down in a crowd. Mm, pretty much. I'll just gra gather five people. Right, <laughs> right. Come on, you guys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, Jenny. So, yes. are you a fan of Tom Cruise? I guess. I mean, he's kind of an interesting fellow. Tom Cruise. Pretty Mr. Cruise. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, well, so I heard, and he actually just announced, like, a week ago, I believe, that he is going to do a sequel to Top Gun 2. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's gonna... pretty cool. No, it definitely I'm is. I'm sure he's always up to something, though. New projects and stuff. Yeah, which I'm a little more interested in, because... He's a little older, so I want to see if he's actually going to be doing his How he's going to, like, acclimate, acclimate to that? Yeah, no, and, like, yeah, him jumping off stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm excited to see that. I wouldn't do my own stunts oh. if I was if I was lead. I'd I, be like, I can't break my nails. I totally <laughs> would. <laughs> I would be that guy hanging off of things. <laughs> no, but I physically couldn't do it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Yep, you definitely can't do anything with that. <laughs> no. No, I used to love rock climbing, but that's just, it's not a thing anymore. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, well, we'll check that out. We'll see how that goes. It's supposed to come out next year. He's filming next year, so yeah, later on be, in the year. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, definitely. All right, so now we're going to get back to you. Oh, sweet. I'm excited because I checked out your website. Okay, and I've seen as your you stuff. should. Mm -hmm. Totally. <laughs> I'm obsessed with your collection. Oh, thank you. Um, you brought a couple of stuff with us. I did bring a couple pieces. All right. Uh, let's talk about these pants. So tell me about them. I love the your um, signature everywhere. Yeah, so these are actually not on my website. Oh. Um, I have been doing a pop-up tour, and I just... Finished one, I want to say, maybe a month or so ago. Was that the one in the hate? Yeah, I had one oh, in the hate. And that. these pants, this is the last of, um, I only made five pairs. And they were only um, special to the pop-up. Oh and so gosh. I figured I'd do something kind of... Limited edition. Yeah, like a signature collection or signature edition. <laughs> I get to it. The, yeah, signature. <laughs> literally my signature. Um, I intended, I just made them for myself. And I had worn them one time, posted it to Instagram, and it totally, like, took a turn yeah. in a good way. So yeah. I was like, you know what? Let me make these for for the, the pop-up. I love it. All right, so this one. Talk to me about this set, this two-piece. This yeah, this little two-piece track set. Um, I'm very into comfort. Yeah. My motto is the lazy girl that wants to be cute, but still comfortable. <laughs> Not the typical San Franciscan, though, right? No, I mean, in a way. Okay. Um, at least for me, I've always been kind of more on the street edge. I grew up in the Mission. Um, always around, you know, that, like, tracksuit culture, big gold hoops. Yeah. Got my that nails girl. done all the time. I'm that girl um, with a little bit more modernism. Yeah. So um, I played a lot with texture and hand feel for this. It's very soft, supple, um, really easy on the skin. It can be it can easily be transitioned from literally just watching a movie at home to like, oh, Going let me go up. grab go my bite to eat. Yeah, let me pop on my earrings and leave the house. And yeah. I love it. It's so that's so kind of the pretty. the ideals behind that like blushed. Okay, now Mo I'm excited because then you have a guys section and yeah. I'm in love with this. Tell me. This little two what piece. So, yeah. velour has been a really popular craze. Um, it's trending right now and it hopefully will be trending for a little bit longer. Totally will. Um, so, I just took a modern play on a velour two piece. I wanted to bring it into summer, so I made it a short, yeah. short sleeve combo. Um, I played with the neckline a little, it has like a little V. Yeah. Dip, um, very soft hand feel as well, and it's it's my my guy to girl ratio customer, so it's the cozy boy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I have to admit, like the detail on everything is insane. Oh, thank like, you. Yeah, I, I geek out over little things. So. Yeah, no, I can see that. And everything like, is hand sewn. Crazy. Um, I make everything myself in my With studio. With those nails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You saw someone over there at the machine. Yeah. Jenny has a special gift for you guys. Don't know what to get your dad for Father's Day? Well, email us at tips at newsupnow.com with your story as to why your dad is the best. I'll announce the winner June 15th. With your collection, how do you think San Francisco women dress? There are three to four categories to the San Francisco women. Oh, um, tell me. Let's see. <laughs> I, I would say, okay. 
I can break it up by neighborhood. There's the marina girl, the oh. classic like yoga pant. Um, what is it? Athleisure? Athleisure. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like I can fit not into that category of athleisure, but I definitely have more of take the athletic part out of my collection. It's uh -huh. just le leisure. <laughs> <laughs> comfy. Very comfy. Um, there's that woman who's constantly on the go. Um, you know, she's going to spin, run, all this kind of stuff. And then there's the businesswoman who's trying to be stylish but still staying professional. Yeah. She's... She's now, you know, veering away from the pantsuit and going more towards the, you know, maybe some sharp denim with a heel. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, a fun trouser, you know. Um, I'm always a big fan of popping in some crazy shoes into yeah. the mix. And I noticed, hopefully that's been more of a trend for women here in San Francisco. Is hopefully. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know I am, so. Um, well, because I've seen a lot of them in, like, running shoes and, like, skirts and suit jackets and they're wearing like workout shoes i'm like yeah. oh my gosh <laughs> yeah so it, it yeah it, it's it's definitely interesting and then there's the the street girl mm -hmm. who um who doesn't really have a nine to five job who's maybe working part-time as a barista yeah or um you know in school still young the younger san francisco girl um she's wearing you know like the distressed denim um, with the sneakers. She's more of like a hype babe. She's wearing like Supreme and yeah. yeah, and so there's there's that San Francisco girl, but not commonly found here. I would say that's mainly East Coast. Yeah. Um, or even LA. Um, and then there's the preppy girl. You know, there's a, there's a whole bunch of styles going on in San Francisco. Yeah. Well, I agree. Yeah. Well, you can find we're... everyone here. <laughs> oh, it's even like the, the crazies. Pot. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, not talking about style. the crazies. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, well, thank you so much, Jenny, for You're coming. You're so welcome. I'm glad to be here. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, tune in next week for your next episode. If you guys have any comments or questions, send us an email at tips at newsupnow.com. See you all next week. Bye.